हेलो एवरीवन इन दिस वीडियो वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट द क्लासेस ऑफ इम्यूनोग्लोबिन और यू कैन से क्लासेस ऑफ एंटीबॉडी दैट इज आईजीजी आईजीडी एम ए एंड ई सो विदाउट एनी डे लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड फर्स्ट क्लास ऑफ इम्यूनोग्लोबिन इज आईजीजी दैट इज इम्यूनोग्लोबिन जी एंड इट इज द मोस्ट अबंडेंट क्लास ऑफ द एंटीबॉडी इन दिस सीरम इट कॉन्स्टिट्यूट अबाउट एट्टी परसेंट ऑफ टोटल सीरम इम्यूनोग्लोबिन and it is the only class of the immunoglobin which can cross the placenta means it is that that immunoglobin which is transferred from mother to newborn baby or mother to fetus because it has ability to cross the placenta and this immunoglobin this igg has four sub classes that is ig1 2 3 and 4 and the ratio of abundance is in the decreasing order means ig1 is in more concentration after that igg2 igg3 and igg4 and it is the most effective complement activator means there is a system inside our body which is known as complement system and the function of that complement system is just to kill the pathogen and this igg immunoglobin or antibody it is the most effective means it activate the complement system very effectively so these are some characteristics of this immunoglobin igg the next class of immunoglobin is igm it is the first immunoglobin class which is formed or you can say which is produced during the primary response means whenever there is an encounter between antigen and our immune response so the first immunoglobin which is produced is that is the igm and this igm it either may be monomer or may be exist as pentamer in case of you can say in case of the b cell means when the antibody or that igm which is produced by the plasma b cell that antibody or that igm antibody is pentameric in structure as you can see in the diagram where the five igm antibody molecules they are joined with the each other forming the pentameric structure so which consists of five igm which that is known as pentameric structure so the antibodies produced by the plasma b cell they exist as a pentameric but the antibody igm antibody which is present on the receptor of the b cell or which is the part of receptor of the b cell that exists as monomeric so one monomeric antibody it has the binding sites for antigen one antibody have the two binding sites for antigen so in case of pentameric antibody it will have the 10 antigen binding sites and these are interlinked by the with help of the joining chain so this is the antibody which exist in both pentameric as well as in the monomeric uh, form the next class of immunoglobin is iga it is the that class which generally present in the secretion like like you can say breast milk saliva tears mucosobronchial and digestive tract and this is the antibody whose production or you can say whose daily production is more than any other class of the antibody means it is produced in very much amount on the daily basis because it is present in the you can say our secretions and in case of structure here the two antibodies they are generally joined by the joining chain and there is a another component which is known as the secretory component because the antibody which is present in the secretion that is known as secretory iga and it contain the component which is known as the secretory component this component it is developed or you can say it is derived from the receptor which is responsible for transporting the polymeric iga to outer secretions means due to this secretory component these antibody they can cross the plasma membranes and can move to the outer secretion so that's why this secretory component responsible for their presence or you can or you can say for their crossing the plasma membranes the next class of immunoglobin is ige this class is involved in the allergic reaction or you can say hypersensitivity reaction but it is produced in very much low amount how it is involved in the allergic reaction so to understand this that their cells like blood basophils and mast cells they have receptor for the fc portion of this ige so this ige immunoglobin it bound to these 
cells that is basophils and mast cells and when it recognize the allergen it induce the degranulation or you can say lysis of these mast cell or basophils due to the lysis of mast cell there will be release of many chemical mediator which which may be like histamine which are responsible for the allergic reaction so in this way means when they recognize the allergen they they interact with the allergen and now they bound to the mast cell and degranulate them after the degranulation histamine is released which cause the allergic reactions and the finally the last class is IgD that is immunoglobin D and it is also present in very much low amount in the serum generally about 0.2% of total immunoglobin in the serum and this is that antibody which is present on the surface of mature B cell. You can say it is the part of that is B cell receptor. It is present on the B cell receptor. So as it's present on the B cell receptor or on the surface of B cell, so its main function is to signal the B cell to, you can say, to start the production of antibody upon interaction with antigen. Means when a B cell interact with antigen through this immunoglobin, after the interaction, it gives signal to the B cell to make more antibodies. So this is the main function of this IgD. So that was about the all of the four immunoglobin classes that is IgZ, IgA, IgED, etc. So that's all for today guys. Thank you very much.